Hey guys, before we get into this video, I'm going to ask that you politely search my channel and go ahead and click the subscribe button. It is my goal to obtain at least 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year 2024. I know we can do it and I appreciate your support. Now let's get into it. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I have some tips for you guys that I have been seeing that I think would help anybody. Not necessarily if you want to join an organization, but in, in life. So resumes right very important very essential when you want to join an organization in life there are some things that i feel like you guys could benefit from learning so these are my four tips of things that you should stop doing to your resume in general so if you'd like to learn more keep watching this video so one thing that i recommend that you stop doing on your resume is having inconsistency I'm a, not necessarily a perfectionist, but English was my minor when I was in college. So formatting and structure is very important to me when I'm looking at other people's resumes, um, just in life, at work, new people wanting jobs, all these things. I think that it's very important to know how to structure your resume in addition to how to format. Now, if you want the layout, if you want the specific information on how you can straighten up your resume, check out my website at kelstales.com slash services. You'll see the link to my intake prep course and there are some videos related to how to format and kind of spruce up your resume. In addition to that, I also offer services. So on that same page, you can see the services that I provide regarding resume reviews. But just a little shameless plug. With your resumes, it is very important to be consistent in how you are formatting your details. So on your resume, don't have several bullet points for your different job positions. So bullets are very important. They highlight your duties, your responsibilities that you had working for a job, but sometimes too much is too much and sometimes too little is too little. My general rule of thumb is to have maybe four to five bullet points related to what your jobs and responsibilities are. So making sure that's consistent throughout. So don't have five bullet points for this job and then 10 bullet points for the next job and two bullet points for the other job. Don't do that. Be consistent. Consistent is clean. Consistent is structured. Consistency is nice. So work on that. The other thing that I think is really important that I think some people miss with their resume is the length. Now, if you're fresh out of college, nine times out of 10, your resume will probably not be more than one page long, two pages at most, which is totally fine. Outside of college, you're going to want to make sure that you have at least, well, if you can make it one page, great. If not, no more than two to three. And the way you can figure out how to shorten it is by looking at the experience in itself. Check out my course if you want to know information about that. But there are some like nuancey things about creating a resume that would help you kind of figure out the length of your resume so that you can know how to shorten it versus lengthen it. Another thing that you should stop doing to your resume is the generic verbs when describing the activities or the responsibilities or the duties that you've had in your organization, be it present, be it uh, past positions. Stop using generic verbs. And by generic, I mean uh, things like provided, looked over, oversaw. Like there are several websites to help you choose better verbs to describe the jobs that you've had and the responsibilities that come with them. So please make sure that you are not using generic verbs. They're very, make sure they're very dynamic. Make sure they actually explain the job that you completed so that you're not having a, a really super like simple generic resume. I want dynamic verbs that describe what you did and help me better understand the job that you had in the past or the job that you currently have. Speaking of past and present, be mindful of the tense that you're using with your verbs. If it's a job that was an old job, you use past tense. If it's a job that you currently have, you use present tense. So if I use the word provided as an example, even though I hate the word, if this was a previous job, I provided services for. If it's a current job, providing services for. So make sure you're knowing the difference between the two when you're drafting your resumes there. Next is page length, which we've kind of already touched on, but knowing how many pages your 
resume should be is very important. So two pages versus three pages versus one page. If you want to know the specifics of that, sign up for my course. Lastly, we have formatting errors. So some people don't know where to put their uh, education experience on their resume. So if you haven't been to college in a while, you will put it after your work experience, mainly for my people who are out of college. You will put your education after your work experience. If you are fresh out of college or if you're still in college, your education will go before your work experience. So just make sure you know the difference between those two. Again, if you are visual learners and you need visual representation, check out my course. I have a full video on how to draft your resume in addition to other things to help you guys out as far as how to build that and make that look Perfect. For those of you who have questions or if you need a resume review, again, check out my website. I have courses available there for you. Um, services, I mean. And of course, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe because this information that I'm giving is gold and you guys should subscribe so that you don't miss anything new. So I hope that you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.